Combining the leisurely graces of 17th century England with the colour, art and imagination of modern taste, coffee houses like this one at Kensington are having a new vogue throughout the country. Waiters from Trinidad and Marseille, furnishings from Argentina and Hong Kong, music from Latin America. These exotic touches create an unusual and colourful atmosphere. Imagination is the keynote. A hole in the wall, for example. As intriguing as the two bright tropical birds in their cage of Chinese letters fashioned in wire. From a bar lined with lynx skin, coffee is served with lemon peel or grated orange, cinnamon or anisette, to name but four of nine different varieties. The art of conversation, too, is sharing in the revival of the coffee house. With the unhurried philosophy of the Parisian at its pavement table, a new type of cafe society is growing up in Britain. Today, places like this have become a regular rendezvous for people from every walk of life. Foods, too, reflect the modern demand for variety and imagination. Open sandwiches in the Swedish style contain steak tartare or continental savouries and odd mixtures like cream cheese and fresh fruit or cheese marrons and walnuts. At one of the tables, photographer Baron and Eunice Melville, a dancer from Sydney, meet Ruby, the house's favourite pet. Habitués soon get used to the monkey's antics and to drinking granadilla juice, a passion fruit, from half the shell of a coconut. Different in every way, from its exotic decor to its strange foods and variety of drinks, the modern coffeehouse is giving fresh inspiration and artistry to an old tradition.